A while back, I bought a bunch of old box cameras on eBay. I didn't have any specific purpose for them. I certainly wasn't going to shoot film with them, but I knew I wanted to experiment a bit. One of the cameras is the 616 Brownie, made between 1933 and 1941. This camera takes 616 film, a format discontinued in 1984. These are bigger negatives than 120, and while in theory you could re-spool 120 film to shoot it there, that seems a little bit silly. So I decided to try to make digital images with it. I made a focusing screen with the diffusing plastic material from an old LCD screen, and placed it at the film plane. Then I built a box, very simply, with poster board and tape, that replaces the original camera back non-destructively. This box is longer than the original and has a hole in the back where I can mount a digital camera. I use the Pentax MX1 because its macro mode makes it easy to focus on my focusing screen at a given distance. With the brownie shutter in time mode, which basically means to keep the shutter open, I can shoot on the Pentax. With the Pentax on 1 or 2 second shutter speed, it's possible to use the shutter of the brownie and make photos that way although that's pretty cumbersome. This brownie has a close-up mode that you get by moving a lever below the lens which moves one lens element out of the way. Perhaps I didn't mount the focusing screen exactly at the film plane because I found that the camera focuses to infinity better if I move the lens away, so I taped it in place. The look is very interesting, and in my opinion full of character. The focusing screen adds a lot of texture, and in my case a little bright patch in the middle, where there's too much light being transmitted instead of being diffused by the screen. Of course it's possible to shoot video with it too, and I made a couple of tests of that. But what I really like is the look of the photographs. While they are obviously worse quality than what you could have been able to get with this camera with film, they do have an old-fashioned look that is very unique. and it's certainly more fun to get this look in camera rather than with filters or post-processing. If you like this kind of project and haven't yet, take a look at the experiments Sean makes at the Photodiox channel. I will leave a link below. Check out my real photos at juanpiller.com and until the next video, cheers and goodbye.